Art, Wine, and Travel was out in the East Paso Robles area. We were on the 46, and we got off on a road called Airport Road, headed north, and we went to the edge of Paso Robles near San Miguel. There we ran across the Four Sisters Ranch, and they had quite a vineyard there and a unique way of uh, growing and marketing their wine. And we learned quite a bit about their vineyard, and we'd like to share with you what we learned. Hello there. Hi. Welcome to the Four Sisters Ranch in Serena's Vineyard. I want to introduce you to our premium award-winning wines from uh, Paso Robles Appalachian. This is in the central coast of California. And we planted this vineyard, uh, my husband and I, and the four sisters, our four daughters, way back 23 years ago. From dirt, you now see a beautiful vineyard. You're looking at, at the Cabernet that's planted in the front section of the vineyard. And actually, it went into our Serena's Vineyard wine and a selected portion, which is the second section we have down by the river, south of here, went into the private reserve wine that we have for you in Cabernet. I'd love you to walk with me as I go over to the Syrah, and we're going to take a look at a more vigorous plant that grows uh, with much greater height this happens to be July, so Eurasian has not yet occurred. So these grapes are still green. They have a ways to go. We probably will harvest September, October. I wanted to tell you about the unique Cabernet way down there by the Estrella Riverbank, where there's a hilly slope. It's cooler than here, and therefore there's a longer growing season. It adds a very unique flavor along after aftertaste that continues on and on with the long finish to the Cabernet and we select those grapes. I probably picked the uh, the grapes that went into this wine that you're going to taste I hope. Uh, we have California wines that we also produce that come from fine vineyards in California. These are our state grown grapes uh, uh, for our wines that are uh, private reserve Serena's Vineyard wines. I wanted you to know the uniqueness of Paso Robles wine different than the rest of the world. We have the largest temperature variation of anywhere in California. More sun than France, more sun in the day, and cool nights. It's this little bit of stress in the grapes that makes the taste unique complement those microclimates we have with the, we have the winds that come in from the ocean we have mineral rich soils that also uniquely flavor the wines like you've never tasted before I want to as a doctor and representing my husband who is also a doctor speak to you about the health benefits of wine as you may know a 32 percent reduction in cardiovascular risk which means when I drink a glass a day, I'm going to have less heart attacks and strokes. I'm going to live longer. There's evidence of lower rates of certain kinds of cancers. And I hope you uh, join me at my blog, thewinerx.com, to learn about those health benefits. In any event, this is delicious wine, award-winning premium wines from Paso Robles and fine wines from California. And we hope you join us. Well, I'd like to enlighten you a little bit about the uniqueness of what we do here. You know, we're hands-on in the vineyard, and uh, these little grapes that are green now, but soon will be purple after Verasion, benefit from what we did before to this soil and what we're doing way down there in the new plantings. We're planting 200 plus more acres. We've added gypsum and compost to the soil so in natural ways, we're enriching the soils so that the baby plants will have nurturing and we're going to watch them grow and have good roots. In addition, this particular soil is very unique in Paso Robles. It's calcareous soil, it's mineral rich, it has limestone, and it really has a love affair with the roots of the great plants. 
you can see it in, in the development of the leaves. And this is our Cabernet in early July. Uh, you can imagine that you're going to see changes in the grapes as the season progresses. We'll probably harvest October, well, September, October when it's ready. A little later down by the River Cabernet. And our Syrah uh, is uh, very vigorous and growing well. With the kind of water treatment we do, we balance the acid base pH of the water so that it benefits the plant's growth as well. We try to use sustainable farming practices to protect the environment from erosion, from excess chemicals, and using natural means when we grow the plants in the best ways that we can. Uh, we think that helps give a little protection to the earth and makes a better